Hello, welcome to the next edition of Thursday Specialty. So today I'm going to be trying out a deck in this slot now. Um, see if it actually can compete. Um, it's a deck I think is kind of cool and I have fun playing it sometimes, most of the time. And that is Heart and Scales and Pioneer. Not only is this deck, uh, I think from previous episodes I've done on this deck, it has seen, received a lot of reviews and I'm assuming that means people will do like this deck and me playing it. So we're going to be trying it out today on um, Specialty deck list. So if it does quite well, I think this deck is going to be something I'm going to keep recurring. Uh, I am looking for new decks to fill voids and decks that I think are not just not playable right now. Um, like Teamer Prowess, um, like aggro decks in general. So I hopefully this deck is something that can compensate, make do a little bit of aggro, right? But also still um, being very unique in its own right. So Heart and Scales, Ozilis, seems pretty sweet. We get plus one, plus one counters going everywhere. So hopefully we get to uh, have that done today. The card we're trying out today is a new Sovereign, Akinek ba Bayou. Uh, it's a new cat, three, it's a four drop, three, four. Uh, whenever it attacks, basically every creature that has a plus one, plus one counter on it um, gets however many it has, double basically. So that's kind of cool. Let's see if it can compete in Pioneer. Um, I only am wanting two copies because I don't really have a high standard on the card and I don't think it's going to make the cut in the long term, but I do want to try it out and see what, how, actually how sweet it is. So if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, comment down below if you like and share this video. We're on our way to a thousand subs. So let's get there together and let's break down the deck list and see the deck in action. Okay, so the deck list we have today is we have a four Pell Collectors, four Initiates, four Serpents. That's kind of our one drops along with the Ozolith and Harden Scales. So we should be able to have a decent low curve with this deck. Um, besides the new Sovereign Cat, which is a four drop, everything else in the deck is two drop or less. And uh, we also have Luminarch Aspirant and Beast Color because they can get big quite fast, along with Bot Botanical Brawler. Two Dramokas Commands because it is a instant speed fight spell that can be good against Amalia. Also, it also can hit and be a one-for-one one exchange with Fable the Mirror Breaker, which is quite an important card in Pioneer. Sideboard, though, we do have two Portable Holes for the aggro matchups. We have two Shaper Sanctuary for Rector's Midrange. Three Damping Spheres, so we could bring against Lotus Field. Uh, three Invasions of Gamacon, so if we face Rafts and stuff like that, we can bring that in, push out the Rafts, flip it over, and get put counters on our stuff. And we have two Ranger Classes, also for grinding matchups, because we can... Bring it in, you know, pump into it, and get card advantage. Three oozes is our choice of graveyard hate. It does get counters on itself, and it grows, so it's quite actually nice with the deck. That is our um, Heart and Scales deck for Pioneer. Let's see the deck in action. Temple Garden, tap, say go. Slide a hand. So this is probably Phoenix. Lair, Beast Caller, say go. Another slide a hand and a coast. Pathway on white. Play a brawler and play a serpent. Go to combat. Shove. Consider. Slide a hand. Finds a canal. I assume snipes the brawler because it will get out of, out of hand very quickly. Nope. Kills the Beast Caller, which happens to grow both the other two. He gets it back of Phoenix, but can he even attack? Play Loom. Luminarch Aspirant and a Serpent. Grow the team. Grow the Serpent and shove for 10. Okay, prevents two of it. Impulses the Brawler and I guess Impulses again, sure. And Treasure Cruise. Gets back a Phoenix. Now he could play, no, he could play another Red Source and snipe something else. Eventually we'll draw a land for this Sovereign. Puts it on blue. Gets a Phoenix back. Passes. We draw our other Sovereign. Put the counter on the Serpent and shove. Okay, prevents two of it. Considers. Plays a Coast. Plays a Shredder. Considers. Passes. Play a Pelt Collector. Impulses the Luminar. And shove for five. Fading Hope. Play a Serpent X2. And grow the other guy. Draws a land. Slide a hand. Free the Fey. Connives. Two Arc Lights in the yard. And then Hazard. So now he gets back three Arc Light Phoenixes. Attacks for six. Take it. And plays a Trickster. Prankster. Counter. Fight. Put it on the Pelt Collector. 
and fight the pr prankster. So there you go. So he got 13 points of damage coming across. We do have a t we do have a blocker though. Ottawara. That's not good. Attacks out. We're at one. That's not very helpful. Yeah, we just did not draw anything at the end. Bring in the oozes down one cat aspirant and aspirant run it like that pathway on green garden skill say go vents untapped passes temple garden untapped brawlers say go you can lightning exit this ops considers and passes ledger shredder ooze pathway on green shove face say go place an auto war out. that's a good sign light a hand considers and connives puts a cons Arclight Phoenix in the yard. We'll go ahead and attempt to eat it. Kills the ooze. Gets back a Phoenix. And attacks for five. Another ooze. That's just kind of funny. So we play the ooze. Eat up the ooze. And grow. Go to combat. Shove. Coast. Goes to combat. Passes. Eat up. Lightning Axe. Temple Garden. Untapped. Play Ozolith. Attempt to pump the ooze. Grow the team. Go to combat. And shove for 15. Probably has some sort of interaction here. Double blocks. Okay, that happens. And we pass. Free the Fey. Poison Island. Probably treasure cruises. Got game two. I think I'm going to go up Shaper Sanctuary. Down Initiate and a Ozolith. Run it like that. Island. Slide a hand. Passes. Brush land. Pelt Collector. Say go. Theme Vents. Free the Fey. Nope. Shredder. Passes. Pelt Collector. Hopeful Initiate. Say go. It's conniving. Gets rid of a shredder. There's a steam vents. Kills my initiate. An ops. Gets rid of a axe. Interesting choice. All right. Shoots another pell collector. I'm assuming shoves in for three. Yeah. Take it. Conclave mentor. Shove. Kills my other pell collector. Come on. Where's my lands? All right. Free the fey. Picks up treasure cruise. Seems like a decent card to find there. And shoves four. Land. Thank you. Ooze. Eat. Crackles. Go to combat. Shove. Treasure cruises. And just plays a simple pathway. Connives. It would be interesting if there was like a Heart and Scales deck with Ledger Shredder. Come on, deck. I need him to hold to not be able to do anything else. Just hit me for five. That's fine. And I need a land off the top. Eat up the Ledger Shredder. Cast this. Fight. And a counter. Kill the Shredder. And shove. Blocks. Takes two. You could have a bounce spell for the ooze. He does. Now we just need to dodge two phoenixes. Ottawara. Treasure Cruise. Snipes my mentor. We gain two. Gets back an arc life phoenix. So we're at four. Harden Scales. Play the Harden Scales. Hopeful Initiate. Serpent. Say go. Coast. That's good. He drew land. Crackle. Passes. That is an interesting move. Play Scavenging Ooze. Play a tap land. Say go. Pathway on red. So long as Drake doesn't have trample it should be okay brothers hood end eat up a pell collector but we die okay oh and one let's get into the next lair hardened scale say go swamp thought seize. takes an initiate classic thought seize bug play initiate say go plays attack and numa that's a good sign that means he probably is running low on lands raid trains me fatal push mentor initiate say go mutavolt gix that's not a terrible top deck. Ozolith. I think I just pass Urborg. Turns on the Vault. Shoves for two. Take it. Probably didn't attack with a Gix. Okay, Champion. Please give me something. Okay. Play Brawler. I attack. This gets three counters. This gets bigger. This dies. I think I just wait one turn. Then I can attack with this and this. Attacks, attacks. We block. Shouldn't be black base remo burn removal in the format. So if he's going to kill the brawler, it's going to be by a push. Plays a swamp, another road or a raid and gets back the champion. I guess it was a free attack. Passes, play sovereign and shove. Grow both members. Takes it. Say go. Drains me. Sure. Can you kill my sovereign or my brawler? Packs with both. We block. Plays a castle. He has way too many lands. Heartless Axe. Kills my cat. He has to tap down pretty much. Passes. Brush land. Go to combat. Shove. Grow the team. Turns on the vault. Got game one. You might want these. Go down a pelt collector. Down this cat. And a luminarch aspirant. Run it like that. Womp. He's probably debating between a thought season and a creature. Okay. Plays the raid. Play the lair. And a sanctuary. Say go. Copter. 
play another lair, play a beast caller, say go. Cruise and shoves. Hits me. Plays a swamp. Cavern bat. What are you gonna take? Takes the Dramoka's command and plays a champion. Play a temple garden. Play a mentor and play a serpent and shove. Cruise. What are you attacking with everything? Gets another rid of another copter. So that's five plus is that seven. Take it. I might have to just leave up a Ganju this turn. Another champion. Gets back at the other champion. Nope. Spawn. Play a tap land and say go. Goes accruing. Shoves out. Goes looting. Snipe the mayhem devil. Or the spawn of mayhem. Block here. Here. Yeah, I have to have him die, right? If I did. If I double block this with the mentor and serpent, he just killed the serpent. So I gained two. But I think it's still correct to block. Oh, I can't. Okay. Okay. So I guess that, yeah. Well, run it back. Brushland Ozolith, say go. Swamp Champion. So play Brushland Brawler, say go. Hits me. Take it. Copter. That's not about a top deck. Question is, what do I want to play first? The Aspirant or the, or the Beast Caller? I can put that on green. Play Beast Caller. Play Serpent. X1. And shove for four. Goes accruing. And shoves. Gets rid of a spawn. Take the damage. Best top deck, I think, is a Hardened Scales. Fatal Pushes. Brawler. Play that side Brawler. Grow the Beast Caller. Move the counters over to the Serpent. Go to combat. Shove with the Beast Caller. Goes accruing. Shoves. Walk. Plays Immutable. And I don't think we've used Sneaky Reach all game. Plays the Gix. Play Luminarch Aspirant. Got it. One and one. Let's get into the next. Tap Triome passes. Pathway on white. Initiate. Say go. Sacred Foundry. Untapped. Chain to the Rock. Pathway on green. Conclave. Say go. Plays Grounds. Untapped. Splunking. Fable Passage. Cracks the Passage. Plains. Chain to the Rocks. Part 2. Brushland. Pelt Collector. Botanical Brawler. Pass the turn. Elvish Archivist. What else you got? We got Chain to the Rocks number 3. No nope. Binding. And a Temple Garden. Tap. Okay. Land wouldn't, wouldn't be too bad here. Brawler. Dramoka Command. Stack. Fight. See what you give me back. Okay, Sax is Splunking. We just hit you. Fable passes. Caller. Ah, not having a, third, a fourth land is really hurting. Luminarch Aspirant. Go to combat. Grow the Pelt Collector. Another binding. We pass the turn. Hits me for two. That's whatever. Oroska makes it a, a little treasure. Okay. Brawler. Aspirant. Grow the Aspirant. Say go. Whips the Reflection. Okay. Draws a card. And proliferates. She doesn't do anything outside of Roska. Elish Norn. Passes. A Ganju. Beast Caller. Play a Serpent. Grow the Brawler. Put the counter on Luminarch, which grows the Brawler. They go. Omnath. Stomping Grounds. Untapped. Gains basically two life. Goes a Drawing. Still no other things to proliferate, though. Oh. You're gonna proliferate my, uh, Serpent? Ah. Nice. Ah. Okay. Get a Temple Garden tapped. Plant beans, plays an extra land, deals four to me. Fable, not a bad turn. Play a mentor. So that grows, that grows the the ment the the, the, bot, the brawler. So this happens. Luminarch grows itself, which will grow the brawler. And shove at Baraska. Block, blocks, blocks. Really wants to keep the Baraska around. Okay, let's Baraska die. I think I had to because I couldn't have it. I couldn't have him down taking it. We say go. Splunking draws a card. Draws two. Spicy. Elish Norm plus Splunking. Up the Beanstalk draws two. As long as he doesn't draw a chain or a leyline binding, I'm okay. Breeding pool gains four. Gets more mana. There's the binding. There eats two of my threats. Make a copy of the shaman token. What are you gonna shove with everything? So what does he have in hand? I gotta kill the Elish Norn. So that dies. Counters go over. We untap. Play a serpent. All right. So if I attack, saves you. Well. All right. So I'm taking six from the shot token. So I guess we skip it up. Shaper Sanctuary. A lot of his stuff is exile. So Oswald is not very helpful. Invasion could be helpful. Down a Pelt Collector. Down an Aspirant. Down a Cat. Run it like that. Simple Garden. Untapped. Hardened Scale. Say go. 
Tap Tower passes. Play Brawler, say go. Breeding Pool, untap. Please no removal. All right, ramps, tap land. You draw a land, that's not bad. Can I really use the man this turn? A Serpent X1 doesn't seem very good, but I think I might be better than I guess not. Actually, I think what I want to do is play the Mentor, then play Serpent X1, which makes him have two counters, which grows the Brawler to a 6-6. Six, six. Smack. This is probably going to force him to play a Binding now. Plant Beans and an Island. Archivist, Sacred Foundry tapped, passes. That's not a very good turn for him. Play a Beast Caller. I need to put that on white, put that on green, I guess. Play a Spirant, which grows all of these. Put a counter on the Serpent, which grows the Brawler. Got game two. Run it back. Passage, passes. Play a Plains and Initiate, say go. Cracks the Passage, gets a Plains, besays you. Up the beanstalk. Passes. Flare's not a bad top deck here. Play Brawler. Shove. Plays a tap land. Chain to the rocks. Come on. Invasion. Push off the beanstalk. Brush land. Do I bother playing a serpent? Yeah, it hit ya. Or hit the invasion. I think I do. Because I need to flip the invasion next turn. Pass the turn. So all he has is the Elvish Archivist. So and plays a tap land. So that's what he drew. That's not helpful. So what I think I can do, put the pathway on green, put everything in the lair, and shove at the evasion. So now we basically get the invasion flipped, which grows the entire team. And pass. Splunking. Draw some cards. You know you still have an island. So you drew a stomping ground. Plays the island. So we know he has one unknown and a beanstalk worm. And passes? Okay. Play a brush land. Play invasion. Has a swamp in hand. Turn on the lair. So invasion, invasion, face. And see if he wants me to flip the second one. Has no problem with it. Let's me flip. So that means everything grows by two this time. So there's the swamp. He can eventually play this beanstalk worm. There's the beanstalk worm. So he has, now we know he has two unknowns and shoves just to let us know that he'll never block with it. Okay. We untap, play a temple garden, untapped, play mentor, turn on the lair and shove blocks. I think I sack the array and pass. Cause that way it's really hard for him to interact with the lair. We might be getting the two one here. Get lost. Where? On his splunking. Which grows the Arcanist, Archivist, cracks up the map, up the Beanstalk on top. Probably bends that, yeah. And goes again. Gets the Stomping Grounds this time. Got it. Two and one. Let's get into the wrap up. But what did we learn this week about this deck? Overall, we went two and one. Not a bad record for this deck. Uh, we didn't really get a chance to actually use the cat. We played it. It immediately died. Um, we never got to get the cool effect that he gets when he attacks. If this cat, honestly, if it had an ETB trigger and attacks the same, it might be a legit threat. But considering it only has attack triggers, the Ward 2 does kind of help. I think I'd rather have something, I guess, lower on the curve. I am going to be actively looking out for the next season, see if there's actually another counters dot card. I do think this deck is getting relatively close. I wouldn't mind something that draws cards. I don't really know if I want to play the vampire that I used to. That whenever it gets a counter on it, you draw a card. Uh, it, it is, it's a decent card for, I guess, for grindy matchups. But I think we could definitely find something probably better than that. Um, I also probably want to consider upping my Dramuka's Command to have a little bit more interaction. Because Amalia is a big thing right now, of course. It's the best aggro deck. I do think having a little bit more interaction and instant speed with fighting can help that matchup. But if you have any considerations for heart and scales, which heart and scales do you think you want me to specialize in? This version or the version that has a lot of artifacts, right? There's two different types. Actually, there might even be three if you could consider something like Gruel as well. And also, I thought about even Ledger Shredder. Ledger Shredder would be interesting because it does get two counters on it every time, every time it connives, potentially. So there's like a lot of potential with heart and scales that just has not been explored in the format. Also, the deck still does get got by um, temporary lockdown, so that's kind of a net negative to the deck. 
Uh, so maybe this deck wants to three drop over the cat. So that way it doesn't get got by <laughs> the card. But like I said, if you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video if you like before you head out that door. And until next time, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you soon.